Hello everyone, this is Mark with MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com bringing you a tropical update for today, July 18, 2011. We've got a lot to cover, so uh, just be, bear with me here. We've got the Typhoon Mayon. We also have a tropical depression that just formed in the eastern Pacific. And we have Tropical Storm Brett in the Atlantic. So we'll talk about that in just a moment. Right now we have Typhoon Mayon, warning number 29 from the JTWC for 1500 GMT. Position of our storm system, Mayon, is at 29.7 degrees north, 133.0 degree, degrees east. Location is about 550 miles southwest of Tokyo, Japan. Movement is 355 degrees north at 14 knots or around 10 miles per hour. Storm system threatened landmass is continuing to be Japan, but with these winds gusting up to 90 miles per hour, we might still see some problems, maybe some power outages, things like that. But it is not in actually going to be bad. We got a lot of uh, information coming in from the JTWC, which is good news. According to the JTWC, this bulletin just came in, and I'll post it on the top of your screen here. Mayon is moving north and will recurve east just south of the main islands of Japan. The typhoon is now not expected to re-intensify as thought. So again, this storm system was thought to be intensify and it's not going to, which is good news for Japan. We'll continue to see maybe uh, winds from 75 to 90 miles per hour in, in some areas in the strong hit areas. So we'll continue to keep you posted, especially with what's happening there in the um, nuclear situation with Japan. And any information comes about, probably post it here and also talk about it with New Bureau Magic 2012, which has got uh, a lot of information going on there. So take a look. Uh, he's supporting my site. I'm supporting his site. Very good information coming in from his channel. So we're taking a look at our neck of the woods now, folks. We're talking about the Eastern Pacific real quickly, and then we're going to Tropical Storm Brett and bring you the information or the updated information. We had what was a system 94E. It looks like it was 94E Invest 94E and has now turned into Tropical Depression 04E. And warning number one from the National Hurricane Center says that the position of the storm is at 10.6 degrees north, 91.5 degrees west, about 260 miles, or 265 miles southwest of San Salvador, El Salvador. Movement is 280 degrees west at 11 knots. Um, no landfall effect at this time probably bringing some showers and thunderstorms to some of those areas and again we'll continue to watch this if there's any major change in its track but as of right now I'm going to bring in the actual track of this tropical depression 4E take a look at it real quickly okay so we're taking a look at this tropical depression and shows that it might even turn into a major hurricane sometime around Thursday anywhere between Wednesday and Friday of next week we'll probably see this turn into a major hurricane. But again, we got to continue to watch this. Even though it's moving in that direction, there is a possibility of change in all hurricanes. So we'll continue to keep you posted and let you know what's going on with that. But again, of course, we'll watch areas in Mexico and continue to keep you posted in the next couple of days. So stay tuned for that. Okay, now that we looked at that, I've got some information here on some showers and thunderstorms uh, around the New Orleans area. And uh, we're seeing the, this possible development and we'll continue to keep a close eye on that, seeing exactly where this storm is headed. But it's not really much to look at, just some showers and thunderstorms that are developing in the area. We'll keep a close eye. So now we're going to take a look at Tropical Storm Brett. Tropical Storm Brett information for the National Hurricane Center says this is advisory number four. Maximum winds at 45 knots or 50 miles per hour. Minimum central pressures at 1,000 millibars. Location is 27.7 degrees north, 77.3 degrees west. Movement is north northeast at four miles, four knots or five miles per hour, and is continuing to move away from any landfall threat. And I'll bring in the actual path of the storm. And here it is. Here's the path of our tropical storm Brett, which is again moving away. And in fact, there's not going to be much to worry about Brett because as it continues to move out. It will actually continue to stay as a tropical storm strength and drop into a tropical depression probably around Friday or Saturday, maybe even early Friday as it continues to move out in the water. So much to talk about, but no 
landfall threat, which is good news for the United States of America on both of these storms. So if any change in these storms do occur, I'll bring you more information. And again, uh, this was a long video today. I appreciate y'all's patience. And again, we're taking a look at both the storms in the United States around surrounding areas, which is the Eastern Pacific, and of course, the Atlantic Ocean. So we'll continue to keep you posted. Please stay tuned to MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com. Take a look at that website. Go and subscribe to that red website or register, and you can post your own information and your own videos on that website for free, no charge. So again, stay tuned to MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com. Thank you very much for watching. And again, I want to thank everyone for subscribing, guys. We've got about 1,065 subscribers. I really much appreciate the support, and y'all have a great day.